My pleasure. Um, well, my uh, background and training is in cognitive psychology, and um, I've always been interested in uh, learning, and in particular, um, how uh, we can promote transfer. So um, that kind of leads me to educational issues, because I'm very interested in how can we help people learn in ways so they can apply what they've learned in new situations. So that, that's the classic issue of transfer that's been uh, around in education and in psychology for over a hundred years. It was really one of the in initial questions in the science of learning and also in, in education. Um, and so, um, in kind of looking at ways to try to improve transfer, uh, especially of, of kind of mathematical and scientific concepts, it kind of uh, drew me to looking at the role of graphics. Because we know a lot about verbal learning, but we don't know quite as much about uh, visual learning and how, how you can use visualizations to help people understand. So I, got, I pretty much got interested in um, how, you know, what makes a useful graphic, what, how can we help people learn, is there a value added of, uh, if we incorporate graphics into instruction, will that help people learn better than if we focus just on words? So I call that the multimedia principle. And there's a lot of evidence that people learn better from words and pictures than from words alone, especially if you're interested in transfer, if you want them to be able to use what they've learned in new situations. And that obviously um, gets me into um, both animation and, and video, because those are obviously forms of, of um, visual presentations. So um, I think that's why I kind of got interested in, in, in video and in animation and even in just still um, graphics, because the, the question is, how can we design graphics so that they can help people learn better?